We're at Class 1 Equipment in our wet process lab and we're looking at a semi-tool dual chamber spray solvent tool, also referred to as an SST. This tool has been fully refurbished and uh, Frank will be going over uh, our refurbishment process. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, uh, load a cassette of uh, 200 millimeter wafers and uh, then Frank will go over a recipe and start running the tool. In parallel we'll be discussing what we've done with uh, during each step of the refurbishment. Alright, you select which chamber you're going to use. The wafers can easily be slid in. This chamber has been sent out and been electropolishly finished, so it's just like new. Wafers are in the chamber. You push the button to close the door. The chamber is fully closed. You come here, so you select the chamber that you slip the wafers in. Go to the recipe selection. Pick what recipe you want to use. If you want to edit the recipe or view the recipe steps, you can select edit or view, and then you can actually go down and confirm all the steps that you have programmed in. So very simple user interface, very user friendly in terms of setting up a recipe. Simply go back out, again select the recipe. And out. While you're doing that, I want to explain this tool is set up for, for 200 millimeter wafers and is uh, set up for the liftoff process. So it's it's the customer that's going to be receiving the system uh, is doing a, a metal liftoff. Go to our operate template and select start. Just to give you a note, the pump location is pretty much standard to most of the tools, but it's also at different areas depending on the type of pump you want and your uh, operational con uh, considerations. Pumps have been rebuilt during the refurbishment process. These are the tanks. The, these are heated tanks. They've been pulled out, reconditioned. All the sensors, level sensors, and heater elements have been tested and confirmed as uh, working. All the valve considerations with the tank, as well as throughout the tool, have been uh, taken care of. Huh? I'm going to just focus in on the the uh, chamber here. It's a brand we've manufactured a brand new rotor. Rotor has been balanced to our customers' cassette and wafer loads. To and and when that when that is done, we have essentially uh, zero harmonics, very smooth operation. Uh, so all our rotors are brand new. Of course, the bowl, as Frank just mentioned, the bowl has been uh, new, sent out, and been uh, professionally electropolished. Another section compartment where we can store the pumps and tanks is located in this area. The pumps can be custom made to fit whatever their space available in the pool for different configurations and pumping uh, desires, as well as the tanks. These are all to be commissioned to how the customer would like the requirement for his site. All the pneumatic control setting gauges have been tested or and replaced. Control panels for the pneumatic pump is sitting right there. All the gauges have been tested and are replaced as needed. The facility side from one side of the, uh, the pool. Easy connections as well as the drains. Okay. I'm gonna come around. Yeah. Back area of the pool. Again, we're looking at a plating bath. This is a non heated tank. It's been in full value, inspected, and cleaned. All the sensors and fittings have been either inspected, tested, and replaced as needed. Okay. This is the heart of the tool right here. We have all your plating chambers, control chambers, your filter housing, drain blocks. These have all been inspected, tested, and replaced as needed. Electronic right here. 
All your electronics are down here. Mm -hmm. They've been tested, inspected, and replaced if needed. Rear monitor, tested again, and replaced if needed. Electrical compartment up here, everything's been inspected, tested, and all the wiring and air pneumatic lines have been replaced. Okay. Back on the other side. Your incoming chemistry connections and drains to this side of the tool. Again, they've been set up for easy connection. Okay. And that brings you back around for our tool. You have two screens, one in front, one in back. So maintenance from the rear of the tool is a lot easier. And that's a you know good overview here, and we can provide uh, provide you with a full list of our refurbishment process and um, additional details. Our contact information is on our website at www.class1equipment.com. Uh -huh. We're gonna just spend a little time and, and show you our spare parts kit. So uh, most customers will acquire a, a a spare parts kit to be on site, ready for use at any given time and so this is the uh, yearly spare parts kit for the uh, spray solvent tool. Uh, a number of boards have been specified, actuators, motors, 302 controller and front user interface, seals, etc. So this is a really a complete spare parts kit for this system. Thank you for watching and uh, please contact us if you have any questions regarding uh, semi-tool wet process tools.